I'm checking out this Atwater Kent 165 from 1933. And of course, the first thing that I do is check the vacuum tubes. This is a picture of the 80. That's the first one that I checked. That's the power tube. And it has two plates, and they both checked good. Then the next tube that I checked was the 57, and you can see that it's got a grid cap that has a connection, and it also checked good. I thought, oh, this is really good. The next tube that I checked was the 58. It also has a grid cap, and it checked good also. So I thought, you know, it has been a while since I checked vacuum tubes in a video, and there's probably a whole lot of people that haven't seen that. So that's what I'm going to do next. This tube here is a 2A6, and I showed a picture of this roller here. It doesn't have that listed. I used to have another one of these that had the older tubes on it. And before I gave it to a friend of mine, I wrote down the differences between the scroll on the one I gave away and this one. This one, uh, the earlier one, it was a black model rather than a brown, although I don't think the color makes any difference. It had the earlier tubes in it. So I wrote down all the differences. Now we're looking for a 2, there it is, 2A6 right here. Okay. Let me prop that up right there. And that 2A6, A is 7, which is right here and here. And then the 3, which we have. Then C is 12. Okay, 10, 11, 12. And then, let's see, D is the next one. 40. And then E is next. E is for 2A6 is a 1. Okay. And let's see, 2A6 and another 1. Okay, so I'm going to double check this by going in the other direction. 1, 1, 40, 12, 3, and 7. Okay. Now I've got this on filament continuity, so when I plug this in, there's the two big pins. Okay, it goes in this way. Now from that angle you probably can't see, but the uh, short indicator came on. It's just a little uh, neon bulb, but that tells me that the filament is not open. Now we need to make one more connection. This is the grid cap here. Put that in there. Okay. Now, one more button to push and it says B. When I hit B, the filament will start to light. You probably won't be able to see that, but we're going to have to give it some time to heat up. And also I'm going to adjust the line so it's right in the center. Okay. B. And then we hit read meter. Oh, it says replace. 
Let me make sure that the cap is okay. So here's the first problem I found. This is the audio tube here and it says replace. Let me make sure that that's in the socket. Good. Okay, well, see if the other parts, that's the amplifier part, I believe. Let's see here. These others are 73K0. Yeah, these are the diodes. And this is 35. The diodes that detect the audio. And then from 1 to 10. Yeah, I got the filament off. Go to 10. And let's see, there we go. 1 and 1. Okay, so it's still 1. Going backwards again. 1. 10, 35, 0, 3, and 7. Okay, so now we push, well, we'll do C first. Doesn't matter. Again, we've got to wait for the filament to warm up. And I can see it glowing. I might take a close-up picture of that before I move on to another vacuum tube. Then we hit Merit. Ooh, let's see. Now it's in it's in the red, but this is a diode. So let's see. I'm trying to see. And I might have to take a close-up picture of that. Mm -hmm. That's diode one. And the other diode is D. And it is good also. Okay, well, put this back to filament continuity. That turns off the filament voltage. So, the 2A6 is very weak. And I'll just set this down here, over here. Now, while I'm here, we've got a 2A5. This is the audio output. I might as well go ahead and test it to make sure. 2A5. And we don't need the grid cap. Okay, 2A5. Okay, this is quite different. 4. Three. Okay, 25, uh, 19, three, okay, four, three, 25, 19, three, and one. Okay. Now again, going backwards. Make sure we get on the right line here. One, three, nineteen, twenty-five, three, and four. Okay. Let's see. That's the two large. Pins and I got my continuity again. And this time we have to press two 
B and C. Adjust the line. Okay, the film it when it gets hotter increases in resistance. Okay, so there's the line. B and C is pushed. Film it should be warmed up by now. Press read. And it shows very weak. It's not going to get into the good. So, if we do have audio, chances are it would be very weak and maybe even distorted. So, I'm still going to check out all the coils first since I've got it out of the cabinet. Okay, so the two audio tubes are a problem. I've already checked the 80, and it's good. And the other two tubes are uh, very good. So, weak audio tubes. One showing bad, and one in the weak area, which means it may function, but not very well. The next thing I'm going to do is check all the coils, and if they all check good, I'll order the 2A6 and the 2A5. Thanks for watching.